Welcome back. This is Midday Live on TV3, but also live on DSTV channel 279 and heavily interactive on our various social media platforms on Twitter, STV3 Ghana, Instagram, TV3 Ghana, and then on Facebook, it's also TV3 Ghana. Send us your views and comments on the stories you've channeled so far, and they will be read live on this platform. Let's do business now. As a trade tension between Nigeria and Ghana heightens, some Nigerians have described the attitude of the leaders of ECOWAS as disappointing for not being able to protect businesses and citizens of the sub region at the Nigeria Business Forum, welfare chairman of all the Nigerian community in the Great Accra region, Emmanuel Chibuzo, has suggested ECOWAS be dismantled because it has outlived its usefulness. Some of us within the West African sub region are not seeing the essence of ECOWAS uh, because it's supposed to be a body that. Uh, give free access, you know, make laws that encourages the union. Uh, but it seems they are not able to enforce their laws and they allow uh, individual countries to continue to, you know, uh, operate their laws as against uh, what they have uh, put down there as uh, protocols and uh, um, uh, treaties. For instance, if you have gone to sign an ECOWAS treaty that allows for um, uh, free entry, uh, free trade, and free uh, to reside freely in any of the ECOWAS countries. Those laws should be incorporated within the Ghanaian local laws because they are new agreements you have reached, bilateral agreements. Now, there are pros and cons. There are advantages and disadvantages that you go into. One of them is what we are seeing now, which Ghana is insisting that they are protecting their local uh, business people. But what you have done by signing the ECOWAS protocol is to open up your country to the individual nations that make up uh, that economic zone. Now, so, when you have entered those treaties, you come back to your nation and you amend your laws to be compliant with what you have entered into. You cannot have a multilateral agreement or treaty you have signed and then come back and still retain most of your laws that have implication to what you have signed. And so those are the issues that some of us are looking at and we are saying then because we cannot continue to be in a union that is at some other people's detriment. So you are gaining and you don't want the other person to gain. So we are saying, for instance, that Nigeria should not continue to play the big brother. If we are not being equal partners in this relationship called ECOWAS, if we are not going to leave some of our uh, privileges and then get some other privileges that comes with the new market, new economic zone that we have entered, then there is no need of retaining ECOWAS because what it then means is that individual countries try to protect their citizens.